Hello everybody. Hope you enjoyed the benefits of VLOOKUP and MATCH and in fact if you had gone through our videos on indirect formula, we know now that VLOOKUP MATCH plus indirect makes it a three dimensional lookup. Well, in context of that, let me now add another flavor to this entire lookup strategy that is H lookup with MATCH. Although. We look up with match will suffice your need, but let me also show you with the same logic lines how H lookup can be combined with match formula using this example. Simply watching the video won't help. Practice will. So take the initiative. Get access to all my YouTube practice files from the description given below. Now, what I have before me is a sheet from the insurance advisor and life insurance cover amount is provided in column A. So all these are hypothetical amounts, it says in case the age is more than or equal to zero, that means up to 25, these are the premium amount you must pay. For example, if I wish to take a cover of let's say 1 lakh, that is one tenth of a million, and my age happens to be 24, then what is the premium I must pay? I would be paying a premium of 1049. Now, in case my age touches 26, in fact, I then should be liable to pay the premium amount in the manner of 1377. So I should be able to get an answer immediately and automatically in this blank cell. So one variable is placed horizontally and that happens to be age and one variable is placed vertically and that happens to be the life cover, the sum insured. So how do I apply H lookup with match? Well, let me first tell you the basic difference between VLOOKUP and MATCH and HLOOKUP and MATCH. If you remember from our previous discussion, Junior follows senior strategy. The VLOOKUP covers the entire table and MATCH assists by choosing just the header values and that is a Junior. Junior follows senior, right? Now, since VLOOKUP requires column index number, hence we applied MATCH in the header. But H lookup requires row index number and that is the reason we will be putting match formula on the first column of the entire table selection. So H lookup will look up for the entire table array and match will assist H lookup by looking inside this row index number, the first column. Keeping that in mind, let me begin writing H lookup with match formula. Let me expand the entire screen. So here it goes, equal to H lookup tab key, HL tab key will give you the H lookup bracket open. Now lookup value, is it going to be age? Is it going to be sum insured? Since it is H lookup, it is going to be something which is can be found in the header and that happens to be age, comma. Next table array, whatever you do, just ensure that the first row of your selection must contain the common link of age. That is a prerequisite of H lookup. So you cannot choose the data like this. This will be incorrect. The selection must begin from the header, which includes the age. So from there, shift control down. I press immediately F4 to freeze it, comma. I'll reserve a seat for match, immediately closing a bracket, and then comma. Now question is, do I put zero or do I put one? Since H lookup is looking for 26 and 26 or 29 or 32, whatever that age be, I need an approximate match. And remember from our old discussion, if you have a data based on a slab in ascending order, placed in more than equal to format, you will have to give one. And that is what we have done. Approximate match with the three conditions. Now let me go to match. What I'm going to look for, you're going to look for the sum insured. Why? Because that is what I'm going to find in the vertical placed column. So I look up for the 1 lakh, comma. Do I choose from the 50,000 or sum insured? Well, if you remember the junior follow senior principle, you would recommend me that I must choose the cell selection from the word sum insured. Shift control down. Immediately pressing F4 to freeze it. Notice the dollar has been placed correctly and comma. Now ask yourself, do I put zero or do I put one? If you put zero, it means exact match. You may be looking for a sum insured, let's say 1,20,000. Well, there is no 1,20,000 out here. So you are looking at a data which is placed in a slab, ascending order, 
and more than equal to hence i'm going to put one let me press enter and let's see what it gives me so as expected 26 age 1 lakh cover 1377 if you liked how we explained the logic behind the tricks why don't you check out our entire library use the link in the description below and if i change the age to let's say 35 same cover but moment i put let's say 36 then notice the premium amount it's going to turn to 1852 so that is how it is working with a slab based data the slab exists in the age as well as the sum insured and the same logic i've applied and given that as a solution in the next sheet so this was H lookup with match and remember when you are applying H lookup with match this is how it is going to look like where the junior is placed on the first column and junior follows senior. So that was one quick example of H lookup with match and if you want I can quickly write V lookup with match just beside it. So V lookup look for that variable which is given vertically so hence I am choosing not age which I had chosen in H lookup I am choosing the sum insured. That is the variable given vertically, comma. I start from the selection, first column. That is a prerequisite of VLOOKUP. It must contain the common link. Shift control, right is the shortcut key which I am using to choose the entire data. Pressing F4, comma. Reserving a seat for match. And then noticing that the data is in a slab vertically. I'll be putting one. And match, match, please look for something that is present horizontally, the header. So match looks for age 36 comma where junior follows senior and I press F4 comma zero. No, it has to be one because this is where the slab based data does exist. Enter. So yes, you are getting the same answer. Either you apply H lookup with match or V lookup with match. Practice those and hope you enjoy it.